Hey everybody, in this video, we are actually gonna be testing ReSound. It's a software that's supposed to cut out the ums and the ahs in videos. And if you've been watching my channel for any time at all, you know that I say um a lot. So this is a huge benefit for me. So I did go ahead and buy ReSound. So we're gonna jump into the back end and check it out. But first I wanna cover a few things. So basically all you gotta do is enter in the video and it's going to highlight as you can see here on the screen, the silences in the video and the ums and the ahs and the is. And that's really the gist of what Resound does. It also has an enhancing feature that enhances the audio. So if your, your microphone's not friggin' amazing, then you can enhance the audio and have it sound just a little bit better. We'll test that in here as well, see what it's like. Before we sign in, let's check the pricing because it's really not too bad, honestly. You got the free version here. You can do 20 minutes of process audio. And it supposedly does video now as well. Well, so that's what I'm hoping. We'll see how well it works. I have not tested this with video yet. I've tested it with audio. I haven't tested it with video. The creator is $15 a month for four hours of processed audio. I should mention that this is a software meant for podcasters, not necessarily for YouTubers. As you can see, it does say MP4 down here, which is video. If you need more than four hours, you can do the professional. It's still only $30 a month. It gives you a whopping 10 hours of audio. So unless you're Joe Rogan, <laughs> you'd be fine with the professional plan. So let's jump into the back end. So let's go ahead and drag a file in here. Now I just did a review on Taja. So that's the video we're going to use. I said uh and ah uh, a lot in that video. So we'll see how well it does. I have a feeling it's going to take out quite a bit. I'm going to make a couple adjustments. I'm not gonna do the whole edit on here, but I do want to kind of play around with it and see what we can do. So that's all we did. You click up or upload here, select the video you want. And I guess we just wait. Okay, so it took a long time for it to upload. I did have to walk away because I got bored and uh, I have like a two second memory, so I forgot to come back right away. Anyways, <laughs> so it was more than five minutes for sure. So now we're gonna go ahead and process the audio. A little worried, it doesn't say anything about processing the video, so that's a little weird. We'll see, let's still hold out hope. But it's 16 minutes and 37 seconds, which should be fine. I got 29 hours left. This seems like it's going a lot faster. All right, so the audio is done. That didn't take very long, it's probably a minute. So let's go ahead and review the edits. Ooh, bad sign so far, not going great. Because uh, this is not video. It's a YouTube uh, optimization oh, cut. It's a, okay, so we have 161. Holy smokes, Batman. We have 161 spots it's cutting out. So, this is only a 16 minute video, by the way. So, that gives you an example of how many times I say, um, in a video. It's a nightmare to edit. Hence the reason I spend money on tools like this. <laughs> Golly. All right, let's go to the next one. Optimization software. So I just didn't say anything for a minute. And it just cut optimization. And we're gonna the next one cut that as well so there's a lot of things in this video that i'm gonna have to cut out this is a 16 minute recording this is probably going to end up being a 10 minute or less video on average i cut i try to cut about half of what i record it's not a big deal so if you see a lot of pauses like this, this is just something i do i do it a lot this video right now has had quite a few pauses so this is pretty normal and it just so you just go to the next one that out here's a bunch of pauses we're gonna that cut. out cut Cut. It's very simple to use. Go to the next optimize one. A Same YouTube. thing. Geo optimize a YouTube. I don't like that it's. I don't like that it's doing uh, three in one little spot here instead of just combining them. I guess would make more sense to me. So we're gonna cut that one as well. That was just a sound in the background. This lets you optimize. Oh, it helps me out a lot. <laughs> okay, oh, it cuts. helps me out a lot. Potential to help. Potential cut. to help me. I'll show you pretty much everything. I'll show you pretty much everything a video that I, a video and all the data and give me titles and all okay so actually most of these are pauses not necessarily ums and ahs so that's good <laughs> i'm a little bit proud of myself on that one but so far very easy we've gone through about uh, we've gone through 15 of them It'll take maybe 30 seconds i'm actually spending more time talking to the camera than actually doing the edits so it's very simple I actually didn't mean to descriptions to use I did. so let's go back and keep it i think that was an descriptions um. to use um yep
bolts of her YouTube channel. Okay, and you can actually just move this to make the bolts cuts of more. So I like that, that's pretty cool. That's a very easy thing to do. So let's just skip all the way down to the plans that matters. There are two, and see this isn't, this leaves a lot open on this side. Let's go ahead and speed things up. There are that. There are two, there are two main issues that matters. There are two, there are two main issues there are that matters. There are two, there are two. Okay, so we can actually cut all that. Plans, because that's really all that matters. There are two main issues I have. Okay, so I'm liking this so I've far. Okay, so it didn't cut this one. It didn't detect this one here. Uh, I sniffed. How do we add in a cut? Oh, okay, so you just right click. You just right click to add in a cut. That's really nice. Second, when I get, second, when I go to the actual website. So the, the first plan, I actually like this so far. Just so you know, I'm only 40 in. I actually added one. I spread out a couple. I, I kind of want to go through again, but I'm having a blast with it. This is really cool. And here's another example. It kind of missed here. So the accuracy is a little off because it missed the silence here and then it missed this little sound I made. So we're going to go ahead and spread this out. It's an really easy good fix. Really good for it's an easy fix, but it's something that should probably be caught by the AI. Here's another one here. And this, and that was a very long pause, so we'll spread that out. AppSumo goes. So, and this, and we'll go ahead and get rid of that as far as AppSumo goes. And this does optimize shorts. So you can use this to not only take out ums and ahs and big silences, but you can also use it to kind of edit your stuff too. So this is pretty nice. If this actually exports the and cuts the video as well, this could be huge. I have a feeling it's not going to though because it doesn't show the video at all. So I'm a little worried about that, but we'll see. When we get done with this, we'll come back. So we cut a lot of uh, ums, ahs, and most of it was just pauses in the video. End up trimming about four and a half minutes. I can say without a doubt this is cool, but without the video, it's really hard to trust what you're cutting. You could be cutting something for me, for example, you could be, I could be cutting something that I'm trying to show and that could be bad. So we're going to go ahead and export this, see if it does export the video. But first I want to do the enhance here. We're going to play this and then we're going to play it after it's enhanced to see what the difference is. Yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Okay, so so that was unenhanced. Let's enhance it. And I'll be back. All right, so it's done. Took a few minutes. A little bit slower than I would like, but hey, what are you going to do? Now, hopefully, you remember what the last one sounded like. Let's just play this one. Yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. I personally couldn't tell a difference, but I have a pretty good mic, and I waited like four or five minutes between the two, so... We'll be able to see a lot more on the end video. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. So let's go ahead and try to export this thing. Okay, so we got these settings here. <laughs> we forgot to set up the settings, so that probably would have helped. We could have just auto cut all the silences and auto cut all the filler sounds. That would have saved a lot of time. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, so you could have saved me probably 20 minutes there messing with it because I don't think there was any I needed to not cut. The only problem so far with what it highlighted was it maybe it didn't cut enough of the sound or enough of the silence. It left too much in. Having it cut everything right away probably wouldn't be terrible except if it's video. That could cause a problem. Okay and we can export into mp4 so we'll see what happens. Oh, and while we were waiting, <clears throat> I forgot to show that there is a dark mode too, so that's nice. By the way, this is taking forever to export, so just keep that in mind if you decide to use Resell. There's really nothing else to show on the dashboard. It's a very basic dashboard, very simple software to use. I liked using it. It is extremely slow. We're going to tune back in. I'm going to go ahead and shut off this recording. We're going to uh, come back after the export is done. It's been about 20 minutes. I'm tired of waiting on it. So we're going to close out this video and come back to it when it's done. Supposedly it sends us an email when it's done. So we'll find out if it is a video. 
and I'll go ahead and give my final thoughts at that point. Okay, it's finally done rendering. It took a long time. I want to say 30 minutes to an hour, much longer than normal rendering of a video, but it did render the actual video, which was a nice surprise. YouTube optimization, they're all expensive. So just, and you can, it does. And I'll go ahead and do an, check that out. Optimization. Okay, so it did do software. it and well, <laughs> This is what it is. Now, I wouldn't say it is a finished edit. I didn't spend enough time on it. Could I have done most of the edits with it? Yeah, probably. Overall though, I wouldn't use it for video personally because I mean, unless the video was kind of secondary. So if it was like a video podcast, you could still do it because the silent parts could easily be cut out 99% of the time because it doesn't matter. The video is just kind of extra in that scenario, but for videos that I do where I'm actually showing off software and stuff like that, this would not be something that I could use. That being said, if you have a podcast, this would be a great software. It is easy to use, takes minutes to learn. I mean, it was very simple. The rendering is slow. It's pretty slow in general of a platform. It's not bad. So if you want to check out Resound, go to resound.fm. Pricing's reasonable. Four hours of content for 15 bucks a month is pretty good. Or you get 20 minutes free every month. So go play around and check it out. I'll leave the link down in the description so it's easy to get to. I'm not an affiliate. I don't think I'm going to be an affiliate for these guys. But it's pretty solid. I didn't hate it. Didn't love it, but didn't hate it. If I knew somebody with a podcast, I would recommend it to them. It definitely made things easier. It was kind of fun to use, especially at first. And be sure to check out the Taja video if you haven't already. I'm going to leave it in the cards for the next video. Check that out. Let me know what you think about that as well. Hit me up in the comments if you need anything or you have any questions about the software. Or if you think I forgot something or left something out, just let me know. See ya.